So I thought I'd make a quick video on how you go about testing if your thermostat went bad and your engine using a low cost infrared temperature thermometer. And these are really low cost. You get these for like $20, $30 on like Amazon or eBay or something like that. I'll put a link down below if you need one. But basically what we're gonna test is we're just gonna see if this thermostat stays stuck closed. Because these thermostats are supposed to be closed when the engine's cold. But as soon as the engine warms up, this thermostat's supposed to open. And then it lets all the coolant go past and go into the radiator to be cooled. And so when they go bad, quite often they get stuck closed. And this can cause all kinds of problems. Mainly it's gonna cause the engine overheat and cause issues there. And so this is a very common problem. And there's a few ways you go about testing these thermostats. And so this is gonna be one method. I also made a video on how you go about testing this without no tools. If you wanna check that out, I'll put a link down below. And so basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna let the engine warm up and then we're gonna check before the thermostat and then after the thermostat. And as long as that thermostat opens up, these temperature differences shouldn't be that great. They might be a little bit different, but they shouldn't be anything huge. They should be pretty close to each other. If it is stuck closed, then the side next to the engine is gonna be a lot hotter than the other side because no coolant is going through. It's all stuck and blocked up. So I'm gonna go and start up the engine. I'm gonna let it warm up because when the engine's cold, that thermostat will be stuck closed. But once the engine warms up, I'm gonna see what the temperatures are and that should tell me whether or not that thermostat is stuck closed or open. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back and the engine's warmed up. It's been running for like at least five minutes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna test right on the metal housing, right up by the engine block, which is right before the thermostat. I'm getting around 160 degrees. Then I'm gonna come down and go to the other side, still staying on the metal. And I'm getting around 145 degrees or so. And so that thermostat did open. If it didn't open, then this other side closest to the engine would be really hot. It would be much hotter. It would likely be up like 200 degrees or something. And this side would be a little bit hotter too, but it'd be a pretty big difference. It'd be like a 50 degree difference or something. There can be a slight difference since that thermostat is blocking a little bit, even when it's open. But like I said, there shouldn't be a huge, huge difference. If there is a huge difference between the temperature up by the engine block and the temperature on the other side of the thermostat, then that would mean that that thermostat's stuck closed. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to make a video on how you go about testing a thermostat is stuck closed using an infrared thermometer. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.